I have been producing documentaries for 10 years. Each one was produced in a similar way, a small team taking a project from a concept on a page to a finished broadcast. The documentary eventually aired, and that was it. We were done. At no time was there any direct involvement with the audience, nothing during the production period, and no feedback after the broadcast. Now, we know that this is one way to produce documentaries, and it obviously works. Documentaries are a genre of media that is actually thriving. But in today's interactive environment, in a world of social media, the time seems ripe for expanding the definition of documentary. So I came to Stanford to do exactly that, to set myself on the road to creating the documentaries of the future. Documentaries that are built around collaboration and interaction, documentaries that live on the web that you can navigate and immerse yourself in, documentaries that leverage social media in a way that leads to action and change. In my year as a Knight Fellow, I found that there are others who are keen to see the documentary open up and move in new directions. And I've had the time and space to study projects that are taking new approaches. Projects like The Waiting Room. Here, the filmmakers collected testimonials from patients in a special booth set up in a hospital waiting room. You can navigate these stories individually or collectively at the click of a mouse. It's a fascinating online documentary. And at Stanford, I've also been working to develop interactive concepts myself. I'm actually collaborating with my colleague Jigger on 18 Days in Egypt. As you saw earlier, this project really moves the genre forward with its crowdsource and collaborative features. I'm also working on a concept with a documentary student here at Stanford and a veterans organization in San Francisco. The project is about the struggle to fit back into civilian life after being in the military. This interactive documentary will allow veterans to upload their personal stories and share their experiences. And it will actively seek to help veterans by connecting them to organizations that help ease them back into civilian life. In this way, I hope the documentaries of the future can expand beyond the movie or TV screen to reach out to viewers in new ways and allow them to reach back in. Thank you very much.